I said, you, you're getting into my prejudice, you're getting into my faith, because I was born a Baptist. I was a Baptist Sunday school teacher. Mm -hmm. Now I disassociate myself from all forms of organized religion. And Jesse is a Baptist preacher. And Baptist preachers are great performers. And I just saw Jesse last night giving one of his greatest Baptist performances. <laughs> Absolutely, a Baptist church. It's mm -hmm. been a block from my house. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Great ceremony, little substance. Okay. <laughs> and so, we Baptists are really uh, religious vaudevillians. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 vaudevillians. <laughs> we'll put on a great show for you. Okay. You won't sleep on us now, but we will. We will. We will perform <laughs> for you. Yes. I'm sick of the performers instead of the deliverer of substance. Mm -hmm. At a critical time in history, people need lessons to live by. Yes. People need caring. Mm -hmm. People need not to come into a city like New York City and drop 40 million when they can build a chain of supermarkets. Absolutely. A chain of black drug stores. Yes being a chain of black hospitals. We're missing the point. And the, in as much as the Baptists are the best organized and the largest organized black group in this country, they should take the lead in commercializing, freeing up the black community from domination of other people. They could decolonize the black community. They're not doing it. They shouted, Jesus, 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 Jesus. And I was in my hometown, Columbus, Georgia, I went to my niece's church, mainly because she sings in the choir. I want her uncle to hear her. Man preaches or something. He's a Baptist in a Baptist church, imitating a Baptist preacher. Now, that's a contradiction in terms, but that's exactly what I mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the old cliches. Mm -hmm. Do you hear me, church? Do I have a witness? Yeah. Witness what? He ain't said a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Stop right there, please. Um, 88. I think Jesse Jackson had enough attention among blacks and whites to say we need a whole new political approach to this country. Not so much a political party, but a political force that will raise questions and don't move until they get answers. Mm -hmm. And if you don't speak for that man furthest down, you haven't spoken at all. Mm -hmm. And that man, furthest down, heard a voice they were willing to listen to. And they were, look, it wasn't a black and white issue anymore. The same person that makes a black white man fear, makes a black man fear. The same person would throw a black man out of a job, would throw a white man out of a job. The same person would deny health services to a white man, would deny it to a black. So he had something he could work with. He ain't telling them to marry each other. He ain't telling them to love each other. He tell them to put their political forces together and they can both be free. Now what they do socially after that is their personal business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But any, any time they find themselves in the same situation, there's a common solution. And after they've affected the solution, each can go his own separate way socially. Now, I have some members of my family I wouldn't invite to dinner. <laughs> okay. so again, you, know, you know black and white matter. I invite <clears throat> to my dinner table people I am intellectually compatible with. Mm -hmm. Yes. What? That includes my family. I see. How, what do you think I'll of... Stop right there, sir. Uh, the Jewish people put this... Very unfair and downright hypocritical. And I was the defender of him because I think everything they said about him was totally unfair and not most of it totally untrue. This is Farrakhan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They made a made a litmus test of how you relate to Farrakhan. Mm -hmm. if you couldn't relate to, if you relate to Farrakhan, you couldn't relate to them. That was downright hypocritical. Mm -hmm. We relate to a lot of people we disagree with. That's not our cultural style. We got people all over the community we disagree with. Mm -hmm. 
We don't kill all people because we disagree with them. Mm -hmm. We don't isolate them. I, 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 my main thing I, I take up with, it, with, with Farrakhan is that how is it that all you're talking about Islam, you can't lift your voice about the Africans who are being killed in the Sudan solely because they're not Islam, Muslims. All the blacks who are scholars, who are Muslim, not a single one of them have attacked the collapse of the Western Sudan, the destruction of the states in Western Africa. Some gave were destroyed by Muslims from Morocco. Why have you, all the good reading on this stuff, Deborah, Peter Du Bois written a book in 1896, Timbuktu the Mysterious. Other documentation. I've got a, a book from John O'Hanwick on my desk right now on Song Gay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Why is it that we're so reluctant to deal with the role of Christianity in creating a rationalization for slavery, mm -hmm. for the European slave trade? I said, once we get a religion, we put it on and hide behind it. We all have a hypocrisy. We make it pure. I'm saying that being bothered with it in the first place and not understanding it was a mistake. I still hope men have gotten common sense instead. Yes. Um, Farrakhan yeah. is coming into New York uh, two days before the election. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And see, Farrakhan went to a Jewish order to play his violin. All right, nothing wrong with that. He's trying to get him off that back, his back. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But don't try to get them off of your back at my expense. Mm -hmm. Don't come here and try to kill a political campaign to deal yourself to them and say you're my friend and one of my leaders. Mm -hmm. He goes to Africa make a speech before. 13 African heads of state and accusing them of what they're not doing. And back in the United States, he's not even producing a shoelace. Okay. A fake. A fraud. Dr. Clark, um, it seems to me, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that the Muslims, however one might feel about them, have created the impression that Blacks can do for self. Oh, that hell, Booker T. Washington created that impression, goddammit. That impression is not you and anybody. Okay. I mean, I mean to give the Muslim credit for that is really to misread history. Okay. All right. I ain't buying no part of it. Okay. No part of it. All right. They just retrace some things to other people. I, I'm not taking away from them what they did. They, they used to have steak and take stores all over the, all over the community. It was a very good thing. If you could just walk in and get a sandwich and a drink and, you know, be on your way, you know. Mm -hmm. It was very handy when you didn't want a whole meal. Mm -hmm. Get a little steak sandwich, you know, chopped beef and, and on a roll, you know. Mm -hmm. Very good. Damn sad better than a Frankfurter, but a Frankfurter gets dull after a while, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've done some good things. But before integration, we bought that bag of wine, it's called integration, we had little black stores all over the black communities of America. Mm -hmm. Then ACP made us think that we got to be close to them or near them. Yes. We can't even eat black cooking anymore. Mm -hmm. Had to hide when we eat watermelon. I love watermelon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no apologies. Yes. Uh, you, you spoke about religion before and uh, your background as a Baptist. Uh, what Do you have a religion now? Or? No, I don't need a religion. Okay. I need a spiritual belief system I as see. part of my life. Okay. I have that. I'm satisfied with that. Okay. I can go to any church. I feel that. I was in church last night, and what shocked and disturbed me was the mutualization of the spirituals. I see. 
People got all kind of doodads and fancy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not singing, God damn it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You sing the words, you put some spirit into it. Yes. You don't just lift your voice just to get applause. Mm-hmm. You lift your voice because that's the correct way to do it. Mm-hmm. You know it because that's the correct way. Hadn't they ever heard of Mahalia Jackson? I'd say, I, I, I turned to my partner that, uh, last night and I said, it's a pity faith sent us only one Mahalia Jackson. Mm-hmm. Yes. Sent us only one Malcolm X. Mm-hmm. Only one Du Bois. Yes. Mm-hmm. If faith sends you somebody of substance, you don't make the best use of it. Faith don't send you another one. Mm-hmm. He's on, well, people ask me, so what, do you think we'll ever have another Malcolm X? Said, what the hell did you do with the first one? You let the first one be killed right in front of your eyes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you deserve another 